Today we're going to be taking a look at a different type of vintage bike. I've got my tube socks on, I've got my headband on, and we're ready to go back in time to the early 70s and take a look at a Schwinn EX1 ergometric exerciser. Let's go. Today we're going to be looking at a vintage bike, which is not unusual for this channel, but this is a vintage exercise bike. Back in the late 60s and early 1970s, Schwinn sold a very popular, well-made exercise bike called the XR5 Deluxe Exerciser for around $95. With the standard things you'd expect to find on an exercise bike of the time, it sold fairly well. But today we're looking at the space age, steroided big brother of the XR5, introduced in 1972, the EX1 ergometric exerciser was wild looking, expensive, and full of advanced tech for the time period. According to the Schwinn brochure, and I quote, the Schwinn ergometric provides measured repeatable workloads independent of pedal speed. 11 different settings offer pedaling resistance of 150 to 2,100 kilopond meters per minute, all controlled by push button operated solid state electronics. Electricity generated by the rider is dissipated under controlled conditions, establishing the pedal resistance. This space age machine combines the know-how of the scientist and the design genius of Schwinn engineers. You have to love that 70s copy. All this didn't come cheap, with a price of $395, $45 more than their top of the line Paramount race bike, I'm guessing the bike was reserved mostly for gyms and the very wealthy. Adjusted for inflation, the price of the bike in 1972 would now cost $2,656, and by 1979, the price had risen to a staggering $625. I guess the price of space age electronics was going up. This is a good angle to see the quality of the bike manufacturer, and I love that color, it's called Copper Tone. Here's a good shot of the large Motorola automotive motor that is underneath the cowl of the bike. And the secret of any high-tech device in the 70s, two large D-cell batteries. Okay, let's check this ergometric exerciser out. Feels very sturdy, and I can tell you it's very heavy. Now the first thing the instructions say to do is to carefully adjust your seat and handlebars. That's done. Okay, here is the speedometer. Here is the load adjuster, and here is a, just a timer. This is your indicator light, lets you know when the load is engaged. What power is that? Two D-cell batteries. Very old school. Okay, so let's get going. You're supposed to press the energize button once you get to 15 miles an hour on the speedometer and the load is supposed to kick in. Let's give it a shot. This is also very noisy, as you'll see. Okay, now, this light will come on when the load engages. There, load engaged, and I can feel it kicking in. You can adjust the load on the fly while you pedal. Let's start the timer here. There we go. Oh. So you can time your workout. Into the stratosphere. Well, it's under some load. If you increase the load with this knob, and you can actually get quite a load going here. I'm on six. Quite a bit of resistance. Oh, I can barely turn it. Go higher. So 
now I'm theoretically generating electricity, but that, uh, that motor is somehow using the electricity that I'm generating to cause the resistance. Let's lower the load a bit. Got my heart rate up pretty good. Whew. Thanks very much for traveling back in time with us to the early 70s to check out this Schwinn ergometric exerciser. I dug out this Playboy towel wrap for the occasion. We had no use for it, so it goes back in the draw for another 50 years. We'll see you next time and happy riding everybody. Generating some electricity. Oh, it's like a fixed gear, man.